Aloha, welcome to today's live stream. My name is Master Paul and I am a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Shah. Today is December 7, I believe, 2016, and it is a Tuesday. Maybe it's December 6th. <clears throat> Regardless, welcome to today's live stream. I am actually in Master Shah's Tao Healing Center here in Honolulu, and behind me is a very powerful healing calligraphy. So I'm very happy that you've joined me today. Today we'll be focusing on soul readings for the various stress that shows up in our lives and specific to the stressors around the holidays. And so yesterday uh, I dedicated the entire time to serving uh, those students that have been coming to this live stream by answering many of their uh, questions. And today I will do the same. And today I will also focus on all of those souls who I was unable to connect with yesterday. So I'm very grateful for this opportunity now to be connecting. Um, I started a few minutes late. <clears throat> That's because I was testing the live stream uh, features to make sure I was going to have a trouble-free show. So hopefully it will be trouble-free. So uh, we have a lot of people jumping in already. So welcome Nicole Sanders, welcome Linda and CJ. Great to see you, namaste. Welcome Tammy and uh, also Anne Mascara. Well, good to see you from coming from India. Hopefully your connection's good, Anne. Welcome, Jean Wood. And Amy's coming in. Amy's from our Honolulu area. Welcome, Stephanie and Shannon Griffin. Also, Dana. Good to see you, Dana. <coughs> and Elizabeth Falk has jumped in there. Good to see you, Elizabeth. Welcome, Tatiana. Uh, greetings, Nancy and Kristen Strachan. She's always finding a way to find the cell phone signal and somehow join us. I know she's coming from work in most cases. Um, so welcome everybody. So um, today is going to be another excellent healing day. Uh, the last, yesterday anyway, what I did was I followed guidance which was to um, ask you to tell me who you wanted your message from. Either from your soul or the soul world or it could have been from um, uh, your heavens team could be from Jesus or Mother Mary or Buddha or Kuan Yin or the divine uh, You could make that request. We're going to do that again today as it uh, I, I was I was having fun actually uh, I got to hear Ganesh came to me two times per your request and I got to feel actually two unique different energies from Ganesh one was very jovial and happy and the other person received the message and and they were from his lineage somehow that's what he said anyway. And um, so the message to them was very um, uh, more master teacher-like. So I thought that was really interesting to feel those different energies as these masters came through. So welcome, Ben. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I've seen you on this uh, live stream, but I'm very happy that you're here. Welcome, Chelsea. Welcome, Archana and uh, uh, everybody else. So if I haven't mentioned your name, I apologize. I haven't seen you pop in there yet. But uh, if you type in hello, then I'll know you're here. Ah, welcome, Angelica. First time. Wonderful. So we're going to first connect heart to heart and soul to soul. We're going to place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. And we're going to chant the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony. And then we'll go ahead and move straight into the soul readings. Welcome, Donna. <coughs> Danta, excuse me. Hope you can stay and maybe I'll be able to assist you on some guidance as well, Danta, on a soul reading. Welcome, Yvonne. So let us connect. There are all layers of the divine, the Tao, and the source. Dear Creator, dear my teacher, Master Shah, to the soul of Master Shah's Tao Healing Center, the soul of the holy beings, guides angels and saints at this center. The soul of our individual heavens, teams, guides angels and saints, we love you, honor you, respect you, and I bow down to you. I ask as appropriate that you please come to be with each of us, to come to sit in our heart centers to guide this blessing today through the soul readings that are offered. Please guide my mouth. Allow me to speak only the, those things that are most accurate, correct, and valuable to those souls that are making requests. I'm very, very grateful. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. Love you, love you, love you, honor you, appreciate you. Could you please, at this time, turn on in all souls and all universes and chant with us as we offer this unconditional service of love, peace, and harmony. 
So for anybody that's new that's just come in, we'll be doing the soul readings in just a few minutes. Now we're setting the energy. So uh, if you're not familiar with the song, please close your eyes, receive the blessings. Everyone else, please join with me. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, la, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Lula, ha, li, lula. Wo, I, wo, shin, her, ling. Wo, I, tra, tra, le. Wo, li, rong, her, bu, shir, shang. Shang, I, ping, on, her, she. Shang, I, ping, on I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. <coughs> Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Excuse me a moment. <coughs> Hopefully there will be very little of that. One more time. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo I wash in her ling. Wo I tread red lay. Wong li rung. Her musher shong. Shong I ping on her she. Shong I ping on her I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. I love the Source Soul song, Love, Peace, and Harmony. <clears throat> to learn more about it, you can go to lovepeaceharmony.org. Um, it is a song that is sung in 50 different languages around the world. It is a beyond healing song, way beyond what the word can represent when you say healing song. Uh, you just have to experience it to know. Anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome Anne-Marie, welcome Rushi, welcome Nancy, uh, Tawana, welcome Patrice. And Diane Wooten, good to see you here live, Diane. Welcome Nikki Davis, I think you're a new person, great to see you. And welcome Archana. Archana is a huge cheerleader for me in India. Thank you, Archana. Love you, love you, love you. Welcome Tammy Hunter, welcome Eleanor and Yvonne. So um, here are the ground rules for today. Everybody that received a soul reading yesterday um, uh, will be put on the back burner because they received it yesterday. Everybody that did not will be first. And so uh, the question will be that you would pose to me, this is my stress and this is what it's about in the holidays, okay? It has to be a stress that's associated with this time of year and it could be anything. Um, and who you want the guidance from. Would you like it from Krishna? Would you like it from Buddha? Would you like it from Ganesh? Would you like it from Kuan Yin? You want it from Jesus? Do you want it from Mother Mary? Do you want it from your soul? From your heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints? Do you want it from one of the archangels? Would you like it from the divine? Then I will ask them to borrow my mouth and offer you a message most appropriate to you for your question, okay? So, I will go back here. I saw one or two people posing a question. So Nancy, I see yours, but I need you to be a bit more specific. I'll make sure that I do take care of you, but be a bit more specific, okay? Uh, Archana, um, let me know who you would like the guidance from Archana. 
and that I'll take care of you as well. Okay, so Archana says from the divine, so let me go ahead and do this. So, dear the soul of Archana, love you, honor, respect you. Dear the soul of the divine, love you, honor, respect you, I bow down to you. I ask that you please offer Archana guidance for the stress related to an interview scheduled today. Offer her whatever guidance is most necessary around this as she has stress around her finances. Thank you. My beloved daughter Archana, this is the Divine. Who do you think set up this interview? There should be no reason to stress. There is everything in Divine timing. Open your heart. Smile. Be confident. Everything is in divine timing. If you are meant to get the job, of course, I will make sure that happens. If I have something better for you, of course, I will make sure that happens. It is time that you learn to trust more, my beloved daughter, in times like this. I understand that the timing of the finances has been tight, but I assure you that as you look backwards, you will see that you have been taken care of in every area of your life. Continue to do more forgiveness, especially with the interviewer and the company, and you find the success you're looking for. This is the divine. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wonderful. I hope that serves you, Archana. Thank you for that opportunity. <clears throat> Linda Jansen says her stress level is at the top. Her grown children are fighting, and now they don't want to spend Christmas together. Answer from the divine, please. Okay. To the soul of Linda Jansen, the soul of the communication and communication blockages that her grown children are having amongst each other, the specifically the stress that Linda is experiencing, and what can be offered uh, to Linda regarding this set of conditions that have occurred, uh, how best to be with it, what she can do around it, and any other additional guidance she wish to offer. Thank you, Divine. My beloved Linda, this is the Divine. You hold so dearly in your heart this once a year opportunity to have the family be together in a environment that you remember so clearly when they were young and you wish for that again it is important that you hold that vision but at the same time remember that as each child is aged their respective karmas have taken hold of their lives and have given each of them opportunity to self-clear. The teaching of serving others outside of themselves might be considered this year. To speak with each of them individually and state that if there is a blockage between you and your brother, you and your sister, it is for a mirror to look at. That if all of you 
claim to be right, then certainly nobody is. That you are having the same conversation with the other, that they must look at their own. Because in order for love to be at the centerpiece of the Christmas tree, there must be responsibility and a desire to release the past. It is not your role to fix things in their related karmas, but you desire very much for things to be smooth. And so, in the service to others, you can bring them together. Have a project, for example, Toys for Tots, or anything of that nature, where they collectively do something together to serve those less fortunate. And in this togetherness, some of the karma could be healed. It is but a suggestion, but it is important for you to be separate from their karmic blockages. This is the divine. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> okay. So Kristen has said financial holiday stress. Um, I didn't see who you wanted the re request from, Kristen. I'm going to come back to you on that one, Kristen, because you're you come often. There are some newer folks. I want to um, respond. Like Nikki was here yesterday, but she didn't get a response. So I'm going to take care of uh, Nikki, and then Kristen, let me know who you'd like the response from. Nikki Davis Johnson. Okay, so to the soul of Nikki, to the soul of the panic attacks that she's currently having, to the soul of whatever holy being wishes to come to offer guidance and blessings to Nikki at this time. Could you please come through? Thank you. Hey, 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 oh. How? My beloved Nikki, this is Kuan Yin. I am and have been with you. These panic attacks are due to significant blockages in your heart center. You stay in your mind a bit too much, and I wish very much for you to become more aware of practices for grounding your frequencies. I know that you have tried meditation, but you say it doesn't work. Part of the reason is because your mind has not given you an opportunity it is important to consider the divine services that can be offered through this divine channel, Master Paul, as these kinds of services can release the root causes of your pink conditions. In the meantime, as was mentioned before by my beloved Creator, the divine. By serving others, you can be outside of yourself, outside of your mind. By putting yourself in a place where you are not focusing on uh, these things, you can derail them. And the more you do that, the more you can move to a grounded place, and the more you move into a grounded place, the more you can bring your thought, your breath, and your intention to your lower body, lower abdomen. There are practices, there are methods, there are things that can assist you greatly, but you must be open 
and willing to do the steps. This is what I can tell you at this time. Continue to chant my name, Namo Guan Shiryin Pusa, or Namo Pusa Quan Yin, and I will be present to you to keep you grounded. You are very loved. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> okay, so Nicole Sanders, yes, please, Master Paul, stress of loss and finances from her heavens, teams, or guides. Okay. The soul of Nicole, the soul of <clears throat> this concern of stress of loss and finances from guides from her heavens team to the soul of Nicole's heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints. Please offer Nicole this guidance. Thank you. Our dear Nicole, this is your heavens team. This year as a whole, we recognize has been quite difficult for you. Come February, there will be some big breaks that come your way. It has been a culmination of a clearing of blockages, should we say, the stars lining up and whatnot. It is important that you can, are consistent with your efforts to create the income you wish to create. And at the same time, become more aware, our dear Nicole, of the larger picture related to your oneness with all things. When you start to see everything from this larger picture, you start to see that those who have left you, left you through loss, those who hurt you and you become victim, etc., that those are but shards of glass in the massive ocean of life. And they only offer a very small reflection when the light hits them at the right angle. Whereas putting attention on that shard of glass causes it to cut. If your attention instead is on the ocean of the divine's love, you ignore, if you will, the temporary experience and allow yourself to bring forth those things that you desire and will come to you. Continue to process through this next month or two. Things will get better. This is your Heavens team. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so hopefully that served you. <coughs> Rushi, she would like guidance from Jesus about a particular relationship. Okay. To the soul of Rushi and the soul of Jesus, Rushi, think of this relationship at this time. Beloved Jesus, could you please borrow my mouth off of Rushi? The guidance is most needed for her. Thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh. Jesus. My beloved one, Rushi, you are such a beautiful child. You vacillate in worthiness. You feel you cannot possibly have strength without someone loving you. This is true. But that someone is not outside of you. 
my love for you would be full and completely enough that you would have no desire at all for love from outside, but you have not allowed it in. Stop trying to be validated from the outside. Open to trusting and the validation of self-worthiness. If this was your entire focus, I am worthy, I need not another's presence, I need not another's affection or attention to be whole or complete, to be strong. If this was your mantra, then many would flock to you. You would have more attention than you would even want. Because like attracts like, confidence, self-value, and self-worth is quite attractive. It is the lack thereof that is repelling. If you wish to end this cycle you find yourself in, heed these words. I have always loved you with the greatest that I can offer. Please receive it and self-fulfill your love. This is Jesus. How, how, how. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So, Yvonne, I'll come to you in just a second. Uh, Kathy Campbell, my stress is around, is being around people. Um, okay, Kathy, I'm going to go ahead and choose for you since you didn't request who you wanted a message from. To the soul of Kathy Campbell. Whoever in the soul world is best to guide Kathy at this time, please offer this guidance. Thank you. To the soul of the reason Kathy is stressed around people, please come forth. Please offer this guidance. Thank you. How? My beloved Kathy, I am your soul. One of the reasons why you find yourself stressed around people is because of many lifetimes you and I have spent in a monastery kind of conditions. This allowed us to be alone. It allowed us to be by ourselves, where we were not encumbered by the loud sounds, sirens, and disrespect that we observe around us. Another factor is that on a personality level, we do not wish to be discovered, so to speak, understood, because that would mean opening our heart. And this simply is not a comfortable place to be. And so it is better to throw on the coat of you cannot see me or I will say that I am not comfortable in crowds. It is a bit of a false uh, way of being that is truly reflective of our heart, your heart, my heart, as your soul being closed or more closed than it should be. My message to you, beloved, is to discover ways, practices, and 
people that are safe to teach, learn, and open heart to. There are ways to have open hearts and not have crushed experiences. This is the source of this underlying condition you are referring to. I hope this helps you to move to the next layer for both our sake, as an open heart allows us to be fully aligned to our Creator. This is your soul. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Eleanor, I am stressed also about finances and want my angels to talk about this to me. Okay. <clears throat> to the soul of Eleanor, Eleanor's angels, Heaven's team, we love you, honey, respect you, and I bow down to you. I ask that you please offer Eleanor guidance at this time regarding her stresses around finances at this time and any, offer, any guidance you wish to offer at this. Hey, ah, hey, ah, hey, ah, hey, ah, hey, ah, hey, ah, you. Hey, ah, you. How? This is a female on your heavens team. She is like a. It feels sisterly, actually. I don't know if she is a sister, but it feels sisterly. My beloved Eleanor. Here's the thing that is most important to hear. Perception is everything. If you are always feeling like you are insufficient and do not have enough, then that is what will happen. If you focus on what you have, the roof over your head, the basic necessity, good necessities in life, the ability to transport yourself here and there, the good health that you have, the money that you do have in the bank, the ability to occasionally get something for loved ones, then all of a sudden the perspective changes the stress. It is in the focus that the stress comes. For surely, unless there is a significant shift in the source of income, then what is coming is what will come. The only solution then is to change the perspective. And the best way to change it is to move everything to alignment with gratitude. And in this state of gratitude, a more abundance in the different forms that is capable of coming to you will come. It makes our job as your Heaven's team much easier, and it will extend your life. This is my message to you. You are deeply loved, honored, and appreciated. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so hopefully that served you, Eleanor. <clears throat> so I'm going to see if I can acknowledge other people that came in. Welcome, Mary. Uh, welcome, Chrissy Kota. Welcome, Lisa. I uh, haven't got to you yet. I'm still working on some of the some of the previous requests, but I want to acknowledge you. Welcome, Gnu. Welcome, um, Christina Darling and family. Welcome, Janet. And welcome, Armando. Welcome, Alicia. Welcome, Lisa. Welcome, Ali. Welcome, Lori. And Michelle. Welcome, Shari. Okay. So, scrolling back now to the questions. Yvonne, my family tends to be stressed in my life during the holidays. I would like to hear from my Heavens team. Okay. The soul of Yvonne, the soul of uh, her Heavens team and uh, the family and the family stress whatever guidance for Yvonne is most appropriate at this time please offer this guidance as appropriate thank you hey, uh, hey, uh, yeah, hey. Hey, uh. how this is 
your soul. My dear Ivan, you have made some significant changes in your life. And from this new perspective, you're able to see stresses that before you were actually a part of. But you still are magnetized towards it, so to speak, because of the habitual nature. For you, I came to tell you, don't do that. You have made progress, and it is important to sustain this through loving and honoring of yourself, your choices, your actions, and non-actions. You can and should invite the souls of your family members to do forgiveness practices with you for each other and amongst each other. And you can and should send blessings to them as needed and as appropriate. But discern the differences of their stress and yours and your involvement in the familial stresses. Just allow yourself to be in more a place of joy and comfort because it is the witnessing of that in you that will cause and allow them to be substantially more relaxed, in joy, and in comfort. This is what I wish to share with you. This is your soul. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> so I asked your heavens team, but your soul came, so I guess she wanted something to say. So Tammy J, I'd like help with my soul's light from my soul's self, please. Thank you. Okay. Dear the soul of Tammy J, uh, Tammy's soul, and the question about her soul's light. What can she do to improve it, increase it, more of it, etc. Thank you. For those new that have come in, I don't know if I'll be able to get to you, but if I am, the questions are about the stress right now in your life related to these holidays, and who from the heavenly realms would you like to hear the response from? Hey, ah, hey, ah, you, yeah, hey. Yeah, hey, ah, you. How? I am curious, Tammy, that you ask the question about your soul light. As your soul, soul light is about you and I fully aligning. Soul light is about our alignment, not only with self, but with all. And it is initiated by our heart. You have made and are making steady progress towards that end. But it is important that you keep an eye on the judgments and criticisms, both of self and of others. For as has been said, see no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil, and think no evil. So pay more attention to the inner workings of your mind, because although the exterior might reflect soul light, it is the interior that causes more of this, of my light to shine through you in the service of our soul journey to ourselves and to others. Continue on the path you are on. I am pleased with that. Heed these advice and we will continue to prosper and shine our light in greater volumes throughout all universes. This is your soul. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, beautiful soul. Thank you, uh, Tammy, for that opportunity to feel her. Um, Dana, my stress is related to money and I would like guidance from Jesus. Okay. 
Dear the soul of Dana Knapp and the stresses around money, dear the soul of beloved Jesus, could you please offer guidance for Dana at this time, in whatever way is most needed, for this condition? Thank you. My son, Dana, your condition around money is related to education. It may be that you will need to become re-educated in a field that will sustain you. The current conditions keep you in a place of stress around this and your mind is strong. Therefore, the hold, the grip of this constant manifestation is also strong. Instead, make a longer term plan to elevate your standing via intellectual means and you will be able to increase your prosperity and shift your conditions. Be patient, give it a little time and choose something that you are good at. And you will see that this message will bring great results. How? 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 And that was Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, Angelica, my stress. This is Angelica Velez. My stress during this time is in its time of year. Is there seems to be a lack of clients, not enough money coming in. She's concerned she won't be able to provide for her family. Love and guidance uh, from... Ganesha. Okay. Dear Angelica Velez, dear uh, the soul of this question and concerns around uh, the business this time of year, etc. There are various stresses around that. Dear the soul of Ganesha, love you, honor you, respect you, bow down to you. Would you please offer this message at this time to Angelica? Thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. Yeah, this is Buddha Ganesha. For my dear one, you are very blessed that you have a livelihood that can assist you in all times of the year. In the times of year where there has historically been a diminishment of those coming to your services, I recommend that you both change your thinking about the past patterns and your perspective. There is also real world things you can do, but they start with this. Do you believe that because, historically speaking, it is a slow time of year? Then that is the truth. Have you considered that there are many who need your service, what you offer, but they have not been able to find you because this pattern has become believable to you. Once this pattern has shifted by your agreement, then you can 
call the souls of all of those who need your product, your service, your business, your insights, your blessings. Call their souls and tell them how they can connect to you. Explain the different places you have your phone number, advertising, website, etc. And tell them why you can serve them at this time of year and how it will assist them. Do this daily. Do this in combination with gratitude for all you have and forgiveness for all those times that you have not served souls in their times of need. And this combination, if done consistently, will bring about a new pattern and unseen financial blessings. This is my message. Call my name and I will come to clear the blockages. This is Ganesha. How? Thank you, Buddha Ganesh. Okay, so thank you for that opportunity to have Ganesh come through. You're welcome, Archana. Um, let's see. So Tatiana, um, I don't know, did I do a, a soul reading for you yesterday? I don't think I did. Um, but I'm guessing you're, you're around stress and money since you're asking for guidance from the money Buddha. So let me check in. This is the soul of Tatiana, the soul of the money Buddha. Could you please offer Tatiana guidance regarding stress around money at this time? Thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, 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 my joy, my freely giving. Do you think I would have the virtue to give? If it were not for my lack of worry and stress-free mind, would I have bags of gold on my shoulders? If it were not for my heart of service, to love all, to give to all equally, would I be blessed with the name Money Buddha? How is it that I came to this position if it were not for these ways of being? I watch all humanity not be in joy, not be in gratitude, not be in service. And I wonder how they don't get it when I bring this exact example to them again and again. And again today, I bring it. I shower blessings upon all of you with joy. It is my Christmas gift to you. The percentage of your reception is related to your service, to your gratitude, to your releasing of that old thinking. You are no different than I. You are Buddha. What is the difference between you now and where I sit is choice, belief, knowing, love, the clarity of the unlimitedness of the universe. Strive. That is how I got here. That is how you can have unlimited abundance. I repeat my message again and again. Enjoy the blessings. 
if you can. This is Mani Buddha. Oh, thank you, Mani Buddha. We all got financial blessings. How long can we hold on to it? Depends on our attitude, our joy, our gratitude. Thank you, Mani Buddha. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Big showers threw all kinds of coins out on us. Nancy, could I have a reading from Jesus? Holiday stress, maybe uh, five with mother in a nursing home. Okay, holiday stress of a value of five. Got it. <clears throat> okay, I've got time for maybe uh, just one or two more readings. So I apologize to everyone I haven't been able to get to. Nancy. To the soul of Nancy, the soul of um, beloved Jesus. Uh, the soul of the stress around this holiday season with mother being in a nursing home. Please provide guidance at this time. I am by your mother's side. She holds me very dear to her heart, and I have been by her side in most moments, as I am in her heart and on her tongue in most moments. She is fine. Trust that she is definitely fine. It is you, my daughter, that needs to find yourself and a reason. You are in need of a new flagpole to reach towards. My encouragement to you, my daughter, is to find an enjoyable hobby, something outside or in a group with others. Break out of your current patterns as they are bringing you a lack of joy. They are simply patterns and keeping you in a place that is not causing your soul to grow. You are not far from these kinds of benefits, but you must consciously put yourself out there and do things that are a bit uncomfortable that you might not have considered before. You will find great joy and excitement in these things, and it will assist you in the process of releasing your mother to my heart, to our beloved Creator's heart, when the time comes. You will have had a new foundation, and you will be in a place of joy, as is and will be your mother. This is Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so Lisa, you're going to be the last one I offer uh, guidance for. Lisa Calderon. <coughs> um, she wants guidance with health, finance, true partner, love, and life. Oh, no small request. That's pretty much all the... Uh, things everybody wants, <laughs> but we'll go ahead and ask Kevin for some guidance for you. Okay. To the soul of Lisa, to the soul of Lisa's heavens, teams, her soul, guides, angels, and saints, and all the holy beings that are present, could you please choose someone, offer guidance to Lisa at this time for health, finances, true love, partner, and life. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh. Yeah, hey, uh, yeah, hey, uh, yeah. 
This is your soul. What is most important for you and I, dear one, is a clear, clear spiritual path. It is not the other things you have mentioned. They are a side effect. And the side effect of a clear, balanced, strong, active spiritual path creates good health, creates the attraction of a higher love and love life. That which is present will be enhanced. That which is weakened will be released. The key is full alignment with me, your soul, and with our Creator. This one speaking on my behalf follows a master known as Master Shah. This may or may not be a teacher for you, but you must consider that if there are teachers in this world, that truly know how to take a soul to enlightenment in one lifetime, that those teachers would be worthy of learning from. Whereas TV shows, games, and the other things that take our mind, our physical life away from the spiritual journey serve no purpose and in fact hurt us. So I came to offer you this direct message to ensure that when the number one responsibility is taken care of, that the others will align with far greater return on your investment, with far less suffering that you witness around you. I love you. I will guide you. I will assist you to find the right light. But keep that as your focus. This is your soul. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Lisa, hopefully that served you. Um, we've reached the top of the hour. Uh, I have a little bell that went off, a little ship bell. <laughs> I use it actually to help do my exercises once an hour. But um, So thank you all for joining. Individual soul readings are available through my website, um, asoulhealer.com. Uh, it's listed right above my video. And um, please share this video upon completion. Let other people in your groups and other people know about it. Soul readings are very powerful. They can help you get through some major blockages in your life. Um, you know, I do, I do soul readings for people with businesses. I can help them move through major blockages. I have a soulmate attraction system program, help people to find their soulmate. A lot of it's karmic related and we reset the, the underlying magnetic pulse that keeps people from finding their soulmate. There's a lot of different um, ways in which people can bring healing to their life if they align their life to their soul and their soul's journey. And that's an area that I specialize in. So please learn a little bit more about how I can serve you. Uh, you can go to the website or uh, email me, text me, whatever. My information is listed above here, uh, asoulhealer at yahoo.com. And of course, uh, my phone number and contact information is also on the website. Facebook messaging always works. You can always Facebook message me. And uh, for those that missed it last week, I did an entire series on releasing negativity. That can be found also on this Facebook page, my Facebook page. <clears throat> I'll just go to my page and scroll down a little bit. Uh, in there, you'll see some options to receive what's called divine services. One of the souls, I can't even remember who I was talking to because it was in flow. They really needed to have blessings for, oh, panic attack, that's what it was. And uh, that's a message center blockage. A lot of us have depression this time of year, anxiety, we have uh, significant fears. There's a variety of emotions that become just sometimes overwhelming. And these can be directly impacted through the divine services that are available um, through a divine channel. I am a divine channel, but I'm only one of well over 100 on the planet. And you can use anyone you choose. 
if you're comfortable with, with communicating with me, we can talk more. And I can give you a further explanation of them. But specific to last week, I spoke about negativity and how to release um, low self-esteem blockages. Um, uh, what else did we talk about? A negative self-talk, uh, judgment and criticism to self and outside of self. And then there was also um, uh, additional things. So there is a list of the services. I was offering a very, very, very powerful special last week. Clearing the blockages, the Shin Chi Jing karmic blockages are removed, light wall protections, big, big, big blessings. So look more into that or contact me and I can give you a little more information. Okay, so I love you, love you, love you. We'll see you tomorrow, same time. I will not be doing soul readings like this tomorrow. I'm going to move more into a teaching, healing, and blessing uh, specific to these holidays. I'll follow guidance. Maybe it'll be around depression. Maybe it'll be around stress. Not sure yet. But show up tomorrow. You'll find out more. And um, please share, okay? Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.